Hi, I'm Susie. Many of you have written and commented and asked me to do a dipping system. Kira Sky has sent this to me. I'm excited to try this dipping system. Join me, let's get started. So you can see the packaging is just beautiful. She sent a beautiful brochure on how to do it and that's what I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow this today. Okay, you can see, I just have to note this. I love stuff like that, look at that. That's really cute. Okay, this part here, seems to be um, obviously lots of colors but this is the system that puts it together here these are just our colors so this is the bond the base the seal protect the top coat the nourishing foil and a brush saver okay this is a pure white this is a natural and these are several different colors of pink. Okay, I'm not gonna do the pink and white today, but I do need the natural, I was just reading the instructions. Now this is not an extension. There's no form, there's no tip. This is basically color for strength you're putting over top of natural nails or acrylic nails. In my case, I have acrylic nails. I've taken off my design so I can make it nice and ready for this. I'm gonna go through the instructions. You're supposed to sanitize the client's nails. So you're just prepping it exactly like you would for an enhancement or polish or anything like that. You wanna prep the nail, push back the cuticle. You wanna remove the shine from the natural nail, which I've done here. Now we're gonna apply the bond to the whole nail. Now it is a pretty quick system. You don't wanna take your time and try to decide after you put something on. It seems like it goes in a pretty quick format. I would imagine that's just for curing time. So I'm gonna pick my color now. I think I'm gonna pick this color, it's quite pretty. And it's called Sweet Tooth. <laughs> oh my goodness, did I pick the right color? Okay, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna get that ready here. And it does say to dip into a natural powder immediately Double check, this is the natural. Okay, so there's no brush, liquid to powder, any of that. Even though I imagine this is acrylic, you dip the finger in. It's really cool, I've never tried a system like this. I'm quite excited. So we're going to apply the bond to the whole nail. So I'm gonna just do a rest. Okay, my bond was the first one. So here's the bond. I'll just do a couple of nails. I would imagine this is acting sort of like a primer. I'm gonna leave it open just in case I need to access it again. Apply base to three quarters of the nail. Here's the base. And she's labeled it two. So it is the second one I'm using, so yeah. Okay. Really nice packaging, really nice bottles. I actually quite like the feel of it. And it says apply it to three quarters of the nail. So I'm just gonna go, it seems to be just at the height of where you start a stress point is where I'm gathering why they're asking for you to put it there. Just a thought. You know, it's a resin. I can smell it. So that's what it is. You've got your acrylic and this resin. Okay, that's what the system is. So dip into the natural powder immediately powder. And I'm going to do these two together. Okay. Then it says apply base to the whole nail. So that was the base again. That was this one. They're color coordinated, which is good. And again, wherever you put this stuff is where the powder will stick. So don't miss a spot. I feel like I want to apply more at the tip because it looks to me like the powder has kind of absorbed some of it. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, now I'm allowed to dip into the color and I'm dipping the whole nail. Now I apply the base again on the whole nail. So this is sealing the powder. So I'm gonna make sure I do get right to the cuticle because I can see that it didn't really get to this far to the cuticle. And that may be because I didn't put enough of the base right to the cuticle. It 
can only stick to what's there. So if you don't apply this even and smooth, it can't stick to it. And I'm assuming we're gonna dip it again. Yeah. Okay, dip again to the whole thing. I can make sure I get it right up into the cuticle. So like when you're putting polish on, it does tend to run a little, it ran into the cuticle a little bit. You can see that. Now like with nail polish, you could just kind of scoop it away. I'm a little afraid to do that with this stuff. Oh, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Probably better with a cuticle stick, but. Now it says apply the base. So every time you apply the color, it looks like after you dip into the color, you need to apply the base to like secure it or um, make it one or make that the powder doesn't disappear, right? So I'm just gonna do that. If you're lucky enough to have long natural nails, you could just do this right over top of your natural nails. So I've applied the base, now let it air dry. Okay. Okay, so I am gonna seal this base coat because I smelled it and it's a glue, resin is a glue, and when it gets to the air, it dries. I don't want that to harden up on me, so I'm gonna close that one. Now we're allowed to move on to number three, which is seal protect, and that's number three. After we've air dried it a little bit, we're going to apply the seal. It's very liquidy, it's like, like water. So this is a sealant of sort. It's hard to see when it's going on, whether it's actually going on or not, but I think it is. So that's the seal and protect. And the next is file and shape. I don't know, is it dry to do that? Okay. It says file and shape. Okay, so there's a few little lumps and bumps in there and I'm gonna just see if I can file that nice and smooth. I don't have to shape it so much. My nails were already pre-shaped, but file and shape the nail. You can even use a drill, it says, to even out the surface, but it doesn't go on that lumpy, so I don't think you really need a drill. Okay. If you're gonna do the cuticle area, don't do it too much. I can see if you got a little too aggressive with the filing, you would actually file some holes into the color. So just be careful about that. There's not really a whole lot of filing you have to do. Just smooth out the edges if they're a bit bumpy. Smooth the surface. I can see a little bit of a line of something that I've applied there. I don't know if the camera and you can see that. But that's pretty good. Okay, buff the nail and then have a client wash their hand. So what you're probably doing is trying to get rid of all the dust. It's looking pretty smooth. Okay. I'm going to wipe away the dust. Now it says, wash the hands. I'm just going to use this. This is alcohol, just to cleanse away any dust to simulate the hand washing. Now it says, apply the seal and protect again. And that is number three. Then it says, wipe the nail clean. And then the top coat, here's the top coat. And this is number four, this is the fourth step. Okay, this is just the top coat. Just to make it nice and shiny. Okay, and then air dry a little bit and then repeat the top coat. The fifth step is the nourishing oil and that's number five. You just want to put a little bit of cuticle oil. I'm going to finish the other ones up in a different color.
Okay, now I'm just gonna put this sealant protectant on. I've dried it for like a couple of minutes here. I'm just gonna put the sealer on it. This is just um, curing it completely so that you can file it. Now, if you do this well enough, you could probably not file it at all. Filing it would just take out any little lumps and bumps that you're finding. You just wanna make it a little bit smoother. And I can see that this is a little bit bumpy on the end here. If I turn it sideways, maybe you can even see that with the camera. See this little bump there? I suspect maybe it's because when you go, just dip it in. But you know what? Let's try pouring. I got a little spoon. There are pour systems. You can just pick it up and just pour it on, which might be more effective. Let's try it. I got one finger left. Okay, so we want to put the bond. You don't want to oversaturate this stuff. You just want to cover the nail. And we're going to put it on three corners of the nail. And I believe it's three quarters because I don't want it too thick near the cuticle. And we're going to just take this and I'm just going to pour it. It might give it a little bit of a denser. You could do this with any system, just picking up the powder and pouring it. I'm going to use my spoon to knock it. I just didn't catch this one side. I'm trying to make it so the camera can see what I'm doing. So dipping definitely does immerse the whole nail. So when you're pouring, you've got to be extra diligent and make sure you get those sides. See that little side there that I missed? It just So dipping does definitely does immerse it a little bit better. And then they want to put the base coat over the whole thing. So this is where you want to be really careful when you're applying it around the cuticle because wherever you apply it, that's where the powder is going to stick to it. It does get your brush a bit dirty too. You need to have a little pad next to you to sort of, you can wipe it on like this, you know, just kind of wipe on. See the purple is getting in the brush. You gotta be careful of that. And then I'm gonna pour it again, but I'm gonna pour it on the whole thing. So my theory was when I dip it, it might be bunching the product up there in the um, jar. But when I pour it, it's a little more gentler, but it's harder to get all the corners. So you gotta be really diligent about that. Don't hit it when you do that. And I believe it's the base coat again, and you wanna cover the whole nail. I suspect this is just an acrylic powder. I'm really curious, actually, if I got a monomer and a brush and we tried to make a bead, I bet it would do the same type of thing, right? So after you pour, you let it dry. They don't really say how long it should air dry for. Should the shine go away? I don't wanna to touch it, cause I don't wanna wreck it. Now I'm supposed to put the sealant on it. So after we let it dry, we apply the seal protect. It doesn't spread very easily, so you just gotta be very careful when you put it on. And then we can file and shape. It almost doesn't need it. It looks pretty good. I think the pouring left it not so thick and the pouring made it so it wasn't kind of bunched up on the end, but the dipping definitely gets the whole nail everywhere. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and file. Well, I don't think it really needed it too much. Now you don't want to get too aggressive with that filing once again because you could file right through your color. That would be a bummer. It's a very interesting system. It's, it certainly isn't to replace, in my opinion, it's not to replace any enhancement as getting fake nails and getting lengthening done, but it certainly could replace a color or a gel color. I'd be curious how long it lasts. It certainly won't make the nail strong like an acrylic or a gel sculpted nail, but it might make the nail a little bit able to handle the daily routine a little bit stronger than maybe just a polish. I don't know if it'd be stronger than a gel polish. Gel polish is a pretty thick coating. That buffed up quite nice. Now it does say to wipe nail clean, and the best way I find wiping a nail clean is with alcohol. And then they suggest that you're putting the top coat on. Very pretty colors. Might be kind of fun to do two different colors. I could see even you could dip it in, like if you did the end and maybe a French style or on an angle, you could dip it into another color. That might look kind of cool. 
And then when it's dry, you can do two coats of the top coat. And then you can use the nourishing cuticle oil they suggest. Well, there you have it. Okay, I'm gonna do a final wash. I'll go to the washroom and just wash all the powder and the dust off. And then we'll do the reveals. That was fun. Thanks, Vanessa. So I was just talking to Vanessa from Kira Sky, and they brought up a couple of good points. Remember when I said the brush gets kind of dirty? Well, they've got that covered. This brush saver, I was wondering what we were gonna do with that. You just take your brush that gets a little dirty, pop it into the brush saver for just a minute or two, and she says it'll make it nice and clean. That's really smart, they thought of everything. And they also supply a few extra brushes. Look at that. So if you do find it gets a little bit gunged up, you can just chuck it and put a new one in. It's pretty smart. Vanessa was also saying that you can mix the two together. Um, making more custom colors is kind of a good idea. And pouring is just as effective, if not more effective, than dipping. So you can even maybe change the colors that way. You can come up with some really cool designs. If you're looking for a dipping system, Kira Sky is kindly offering 10% off. You'll find a discount code in the description below. Well, that's great. Thank you for joining me. I really had fun doing this. And the next time, we'll try the French white. See how that goes. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.